Hey guys, welcome to the final match between Dulife and Fisheye. Upper left hand corner we have Dulife starting as the green Terran. Bottom right hand corner we have Fisheye starting as the blue Protoss. This is on Overwatch, which I have not seen in a while. I didn't even realize it was in the map pool. Ramp leading the natural expansion and you have these ramps. And a, what is what you think on a two player map would be a short rush distance, but it is not. You got a long way to kind of weave. And kind of a distanced third. I've seen a lot of pushes on this map. Early pushes tend to be not successful. Mid-game pushes tend to be more successful. And that does seem to be do life's thing. But I'm wondering if this was Fisheye's choice as kind of a, a hope to catch his opponent off guard. Pylon place, but we do see a very early probe move out. And I'm wondering if this might even be proxy tech. We'll see. I assume it's not just going to be straight cheese. Because we do have the pylon in the main. But a very early probe scout from Fisheye to get eyes into life space. Is this going to be a cannon? Like, this almost looks like it's going to be a cannon rush. We'll have to see. So probe. Nope, just going to reveal itself. Just wants the gas deal. All he was after. All the probe wants in life is that gas deal. Gateway popped down behind it. Really wanted that gas deal. And actually, I think that's a brilliant maneuver here on Fisheye. I think he's got a plan on this one. Do that. Maybe open up two gate from here. And just get Dragoons into the natural expansion. Because this is a pretty wide natural. It's long distance to maneuver. Maneuver? Somewhere between move and maneuver. But if you can get there, you can deny that natural expansion for a good period of time. Just by being annoying and kind of, yeah. Having that draw point. SCV moving out. For do life. Still going for that front door seal. Probe trying to be annoying and maybe disrupt that blockade as long as possible. First sell it being produced. I assume, I assume Fisheye is not going to cycle the Zealot towards the natural just because they don't think it could get there in time. A little bit of gas stolen there. And a counter gas steal from Dulife. How about that? How do you like them apples? Or that Vespine gas, I guess, in this instance. Marine was able to get the probe kill. Fisheye just grabbing his natural expansion. This is turning into a wild... Follow up. Is that probe? Nope. That probe's not going to get the kill. So SCV's going to confirm the Nexus follow up before exploding gloriously. It's kind of a weird build order disruption for both players. Do life walking out. I assume he's not going to get aggressive with these Marines. And he's just going to go ahead and plop down and grab his own natural. Yeah. Getting his own natural expansion. But doing this with a complete lack of gas. First Zealot wandering out. It's going to be five Marines versus one Zealot, which should favor the Marines. Zealot taking some free damage as it's trying to press back. Maybe going to wait for his buddy before he re-engages. Depending on positioning, this could be bad for do life. Yeah, now going to flee back. He does have a bunker online. I wonder if the Zelts are going to go for a run by, however, with two of them. Nope, just going to go ahead and back out. Gas mining. So now kind of a reset towards more of a standard fare here. Fisheye transferring probes to his natural expansion. Has gone very heavy in an early Zealot investment. So three Zealots wandering up. Cybernetic score. Just about complete. And now as things stand, are the Zealots... Are they going to go for it? I feel like that would be a mistake. Too many SCVs to repair too rapidly. Maybe they're just going to go for the run-by. Trying to run-by. SCV's not there to blockade. One Zealot goes down. Another one extremely weak. But they are able to get in the main. 
at least to get scouting information. But that's pretty much all they're going to get because this is plenty of marines to chase down what's left. So these are scouting zealots only. That's got to be humiliating for a zealot. It's like you want to go in, you want to slice something, you want to get a kill. It looks like they are going to be able to get one SCV kill, but that's... 50 minerals for 300 as far as an exchange and scouting information. Not sure I like that play. Range being upgraded for Fisheye. Sending out his initial Dragoon. Barracks on that corner. Because, yeah, I mean, not a lot of disruption there from Do Life at all. A lot of early game units wiped out. I guess that opens up supply for Fisheye so he doesn't have to worry about Bylons as often. So maybe something along those lines. Second Refinery being grabbed. Second Machine Shop also being tacked on. And two additional gateways and a robotics facility. Unfortunately, because... And this is what's kind of clever by that gas steal from Do Life that does slow down Dragoons being able to be annoying here at the natural expansion. So both players kind of resetting and kind of doing unorthodox build orders into the mid-game. Mines being upgraded. First siege tank is going to be coming out. We're going to have double siege tanks. Or sorry, double machine shops produce a lot of siege tanks here as a follow-up. And actually, do life unloading. Going to find a Dragoon a little bit unaware. Almost able to pick him off. This Dragoon pulling out to the north. I think this is just... Yeah, just to keep Fisheye on his toes. Fisheye not falling for it, though. Going to go ahead and plop down his Nexus to grab a quick third regardless. As far as overall worker count, do life well behind in the macro game. Decent supply lead for Fisheye once again, but we've seen several games where Fisheye's done pretty well macro-wise in the early stages, only to falter at the later stages of the match. Academy coming online, turrets to respect potential weaver drops, but now do life moving out once again with three siege tanks, four marines, and a vulture. The observer going to spot this attack force as it's coming across. And a tough engagement point. You can see where these tanks can easily siege to the north and dragoons to will have some trouble getting across. This dragoon, I believe it was the weakened dragoon from earlier, able to kill that vulture before it's able to sneak up and get anything else accomplished. Do Life not liking what he sees near that natural, going to cycle back around, maybe try to engage here at the 6 o'clock location. Dragoon able to protect that probe line as it's making its way across. Probes, however, mining a little bit too early, so some of them turning close to home base. Dragoon's mixing it up from the low ground to the high ground. As do life pressing in, and I think being a little bit over aggressive, some misfire chance working out in his advantage. The siege tanks pressing in. Three siege tanks left with two marines. And actually, a lot of that misfire, I think, working out for for do life, where he at least has a standing army, but not enough of an attack force to really be threatening to fish eyes. So should back off with this. And as I say that, there's only a single Dragoon moving up to, to support. There is a shuttle maybe to go for some bombs. Vulture is sneaking up. Single Dragoon to go ahead and blockade the ramp and try to stem back the tide. It is not going to be sufficient. Probe's coming off the line to try to defend this. So do life able to push in with his hallmark aggression and get some damage on the 6 o'clock. Fisheye missing a microcycle and all of a sudden do life with the supply lead. And looks like he's also going to be able to wipe out Fisheye's 6 o'clock base. Do life getting it done. Shuttle moving up with two Dragoons. But honestly, with the two Dragoons, I don't know that that's going to be sufficient to stop this attack force. The Marine is wiped out. Additional mines have been dropped. At least buying some time potentially to save this base. But one Dragoon down, second Dragoon heavily damaged. I think Do Life can just leave these units on hold position. A Dragoon trying to make his way up. It's wiped out, so that third base going to collapse. Fisheye 
taking big economic damage now. Do life with a huge lead. Two base versus two base all of a sudden. And he's still got latent troops hanging out. Wiping out... Creating frustration for Dragoons. Moving Vultures while the Dragoons were dedicated to the 6 o'clock base. Pressing in and wiping out probes at the natural. Fisheye, where you had a sizable probe lead, it looked like, or worker lead by like something like 20 at certain stages, is now down 15 workers, 16 workers. As everything settles, do life in a great position now mid game. Five factories up, a six factory being tacked on. Smells blood in the water. He can go ahead and grab additional base if he wants to. Plus one weapons online as well. Fisheye's economy in tatters. This is going to be six gateways with an Arbiter coming out, like limping out. Versus six factories. I don't like the odds for Fisheye. He's going to have to macro his brains out. Ten supply lead for do life. Usually not what you want to see as a Protoss player. Vulture is continuously... Trying to bully their way into the 6 o'clock. Able to take out Dragoons. A single Vulture able to sneak in. Sees the Nexus rebuilding. Is going to be able to wipe out the probe at location. His Vultures hunt. I tell you what. They are trained at some special camp to just really, really hate probes. <laughs> just, they do not like probes. Siege Shanks moving out. One of the feet. Yeah, one of the problems with Overwatch pathing is there can be... Disruption on movement. But that's six factories worth of troops that are going to start filtering out on the map. And you know Do Life's going to get aggressive with them because that's just his play style. More mines dropped. More Dragoons taken out. Dragoons trying to clear out the mines cutting off reinforcements. But Siege Shanks now walking into the natural expansion. A probe in the midst. This is going to be a probe bomb. Revenge for the probes, potentially. Not able to wipe out any of the siege tanks with that, though. And now do life once again with troops outside the natural expansion. It takes a while to reinforce. But regardless, do life with a big supply lead and a big battering of troops. Obliterating, annihilating probes now at that natural. Zealot trying to get a mind drag. Maybe got a piece of it. Fisheye trying to get a multi-pronged attack, but this is still ending up becoming a solid wall. And more troops incoming from Do Life. Natural expansion. Completely breached. Siege Shank setting up at the gap. Compsat underneath that Arbiter to clear out the few troops that were underneath. And forget about a third, the natural now, barely mining for Fisheye. Mines being planted outside the gateway. And with that, I believe Dulife has sealed it. And summarily doing his thing, moving those vultures in and clearing out the probes. He's like, what am I going to do is like finish and focus on this attack force? No, forget it. Kill the probes. Eight probes remaining on the map. Seven. And GG's from Fisheye. Well played to Do Life. Do Life is going to advance to the round of four. Looking strong in doing so. Great matches from these guys. Solid best of five. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.